Hello and welcome to my new series. This is a let's build here in the game Sky Saga, which is a sandbox MMO in development by Radiant Worlds. I'm going to be building an airship in this series, but before we can get on with building the airship, I'm going to have to get rid of the default island that I got given when I started the game. Annihilating my island took me about half an hour, and I used the godly demolition pickaxes. I'll spare you the full demolition process and simply cut to when it's gone. Now that I've absolutely annihilated my island, I am able to begin the build. So that's what I did. The very first thing I wanted to do was to outline the ship. So here you can see me going around and making an outline of the ship. This is where I decided, you know, how tall the cabin should be, how pointy the front should be, how deep the bottom should be. And, you know, I came to something that I liked pretty quickly. I was quite lucky, but you know, if you're trying to build something like this, you may wish to play around with this for a long time to make sure you get it right. So the ship's looking pretty 2D and I want it to be 3D so I came around to the side and I tried to bulk out the ship a bit. I designed the curves for not only the hull but I also wanted to do all the curves for the side and the front and the rear and make sure that I knew you know what kind of pointy shape my ship was going to be. So now that I had outlined half of the entire ship, I was actually pretty happy with it and I decided to just start filling it in.
Coming around to the front of the ship was a nightmare. The curve of the hull at the front was horrible to do and I had to play around with it for a long long time to get it right. I think I'm actually still going to keep playing around with it in future episodes or maybe in between episodes or something but you know um, if you're doing something like this hopefully you'll have a better system than I did which was just sort of place blocks randomly and hope that it looked good. Once I had finished the curve in the front, I went to go and do the curve in the back, which I did in a very similar manner, you know, just pray and spray those blocks and hope that they look good. Um, I then filled in the back of the cabin, and the back of the cabin was a lot nicer because there were some straight lines. After I had finished all of that mumbo jumbo, I decided to do a slightly wobbly but very lovely fly around of what I'd done so far. After that lovely fly around, uh, it was time to build the rest of the ship and I did the same thing with like the hull that I did on the other side, which was to design the curves that I wanted and then fill them in. I decided to do that first because that was easier. Um, doing the front and the back would be a little bit more tricky with the curves that they have, so I left those. I was um, a little bit worried when I did this because I was worrying that it might be too wide when I added the extra half. Uh, building things in halves is not normally a good idea to do. I only sort of did that for the, uh, for the, basically the purpose of showing you guys what it looked like from half. Um, but you know, if you're building that, you really shouldn't try and build in halves. You should try and build in holes so that you know exactly how big your creation is going to be when you're done. It's time for another one of my slightly wobbly fly arounds. I'm going to show you what I've built in this episode and what lies before you is the shell of my ship. Currently it's filled with nothing more than my hopes and my dreams. For the first episode I wanted to get this part of the build out of the way so that in subsequent episodes I can build more interesting and elaborate things. I have a lot of funky plans in the works so please bear with me and making this video has also taught me a lot of things that I can improve on. Bye bye!